you know, all dressed in their native costume. And it's said that when the artist painted them, he painted them all dancing to the same rhythm. And if you look at this particular panel, it's, this is Willie Pogani himself. He painted himself into the Hungarian panel so we would all know who uh, Willie was. And if you look at the four corners of the ceiling, that represents dance throughout American history, uh, starting with the minuet all the way to the tango of the Roaring Twenties. And just imagine being here during the Roaring Twenties with all this fabulous music and dancing. Uh, the windows are a Turkish style window, and then um, they have this European lap stretched glass. Now, you know, uh, if you look at the home, you'll see that the home is more of Venetian style. Mabel and John and traveling Venice was their favorite city in the world. And Venice at that time being the crossroads of the world, there was a lot of Eastern and Western cultures. And you see how Mabel uh, did that, blended those cultures here and in, in other parts of the home. So you have this Turkish style window. And the glass, what's fabulous about this glass, it's throughout the entire home. Even in the servants' quarters of this home do you have these colored windows. You never get bright sunlight in this house. You get this beautiful rainbow of colors. It's not supposed to have a ceiling or a, a, on, or on the court. It was all supposed to be open, making the ceiling and the day. However, the architect like James Bond convinced Mabel to put a roof and ceiling on the court because of the fact that we're here only three months out of the year as well as uh, the climate here in Sarasota. So if you look out at the ceiling, you'll see the color of the glass, which is the same colors as the glass throughout the window. Throughout the house. And outside of that is a clear glass roof that protects that ceiling from any of the wood. And then the wood ceiling. That was painted, and it was, uh, it's uh, painted by us. Uh, now before I explain the uh, formal dining room to you, let me just tell you that I told you John and his brothers uh, ran the circus, so each brother had their own responsibilities. John's job was, he was the advance man for the circus. He set up all the dates and places where the circus would perform in the United States. So he not only traveled throughout Europe, but he traveled throughout the United States setting, uh, planning where the circus would perform. And so, um, he was also very instrumental in convincing his brothers to go from wagon to railroad. So they went further out west, uh, and they went to more places, and quicker. So they just kept making more money in the circus. But he would stop at different cities, and one city he stopped at was St. Louis, Missouri. And there was a restaurant that he would go to often. It was called Sicardi's Winter Garden. But then that restaurant closed during Prohibition. So John purchased the interior of the bar, and that's how his tap room came to be, okay? Now if you look at the formal dining room, you'll also see where Eastern and Western cultures blend together. You have a Moroccan-style ceiling, and then you have English black carved walnut walls. It, they're totally two different cultures, but they blend so beautifully together. And look up at the ceiling, and you'll look at it, and you think it's It looks like wood, but it's not. It's actually cast plaster, and the wood, is uh, on the walls, all of these things um, uh, blend so nicely together. If you also look at the design in the ceiling, the design was, uh, they said, was um, that the inspiration of the artist, who was Robert Webb Jr., the same artist who painted the great room, uh, he got his inspiration from uh, these unset cameos that Mabel collected. Now look around the room and look at the table and chairs. The table was um, made by a well-known French furniture manufacturer
Beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Worth every penny. And then some. Oh, if this place could talk. Think of the parties they must have had here. Thank you.